Good evening, you're watching 7 at 7, the only news bulletin where we curate the day's top seven stories for our viewers right before I hit the headlines. Viewers, I want to take you through at least numerically where India stands with its fight against COVID-19. We just want to put out the figures right there. Our overall tally where India stands in terms of total import of positive cases. The numerical value there at 71,75,888. This is in terms of positive cases. We've seen till now 62,27,295 recoveries. We've seen 1,9856 deaths. Let's break it down state-wise. The state of Maharashtra continues to dominate with the highest import in terms of positive cases. It stands at 15,35,315. The state has seen till now recoveries to the tune of 12,81,896. One third of the national death toll comes from the state of Maharashtra at 40,514. At second place is Andhra. Andhra's total positive caseload right now is 7,58,951. It's seen recoveries of 7,8,712, recording till now 6,256 deaths. Karnataka closing in with a total positive caseload of 7,17,915 recoveries till now for Karnataka have been 5,92,084. Karnataka has registered more deaths than even Andhra at 10,300, at 10,036, I beg your pardon. So this is the number in terms of numerically where India stands with its fight against COVID-19. We're going to keep tracking it. This was recorded just about 20 minutes ago. In from the state of Maharashtra with the... Uh, the latest is an all-out political war which is raging on right now in terms of uh, Uddhav Thakre and the governor of Maharashtra. The governor of Maharashtra clearly stated, asking Uddhav Thakre, that you can open bars, you can open pubs, but why can't you open temples? He asked Uddhav if he has suddenly turned secular, giving that the Sena has been a strong supporter of Hindutva. Chief Minister Uddhav then hit out at the governor saying that he does not need a Hindutva certificate. The BJP too is gunning for Uddhav Thakre staging protests across the state of Maharashtra. Look, the temple and bar that you are doing wrong is wrong. Restaurants are open. धीरे धीरे ये सभी एक एक चीज अभी जिम की बात है कल ये जो जिम चलाने वाले कुछ लोग मुख्यमंत्री साहब को मिलने वाले हैं मंदिर के बारे में बहुत से डेलीगेशन मुख्यमंत्री साहब को मिल रहे हैं इस राज्य के चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री है यहाँ कैबिनेट है और राज्य में जनता के हित में क्या निर्णय लेना है क्या नहीं लेना है उसका पूरा अधिकार राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री को है महाराष्ट्र में बियर बार वाइन शॉप सब कुछ खुल जाता है पर लोगों को महज एक रुपए की अब तक सहायता मदद न देने वाली ये महाराष्ट्र की सरकार मंदिर खोलने पर अड़ीग है क्या माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी का यही हिंदुत्व है जब मर्जी आए तब सेक्युलर का चोला ओढ़ लो और जब मर्जी आए तब हिंदुत्व की बात जुबान पर लाओ यह दोहरी बातें और गिरगिट की तरह रंग बदलना समस्त हिंदू समाज भली भांति जानता है आज समय आ चुका है कि उद्धव ठाकरे जी आपको हिंदुत्व का प्रमाण पत्र और पाठ राज्यपाल महोदय से लेने का समय आ चुका है आप इस बात को नकार नहीं सकते हो कि हिंदुदय सम्राट बाला साहेब ठाकरे जी के विचारों से आपने प्रताड़ना कब की कर चुके हो ये महाराष्ट्र सरकार द्वारा बहुत ही घृणित कार्य है और मैं पूरे देश पे कहना चाहता हूँ कि पूरे देश के मंदिरों को खोला जाए और ये क्या अगर बंद कर रहे तो शराब क्यों खोला जा रहा है आखिर बार क्यों खोला जा रहा है तो इससे बड़ा घोर कलयुग का प्रतीक है पाप का प्रतीक है तो ये बिल्कुल गलत बात है और इस पर बिल्कुल वो होना चाहिए जितने भी मंदिर है वो खुले और अगर बंद हो रहा है तो शराब की दुकानें भी बंद हो बार भी बंद हो तो इस तरह सरकार के जो निर्णय है कि बार तो खोलेंगे लेकिन मंदिर बंद रखेंगे ये बड़ा दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है ये धार्मिक भावना को आहत करने वाला है all right, I just want to take you across on what has been the central government's advisory in midst of all of this. What did our health minister say when it comes down to visiting religious places? Listen in to Dr. Harshwardhan. Kisi bhi dharam mein koi bhi dharma chare yeh nahi kehte ki logo ke prano ko khatre mein dal kar tohar manaya jana chahiye. Kabhi koi bhi bhagwan yeh nahi kehte 
कि उनकी पूजा के लिए आपको बड़े बड़े पूजा पंडालों में जाने की जरूरत है अरे आपको पता हो कि बाहर आग लगी है और कैसे आप लोगों को धर्म और त्योहारों के नाम पर तब झोंक सकते हैं उसमें ऐसे त्योहार का भला क्या मतलब है आप सच्चे मन से कहीं भी अपने भगवान का स्मरण कर सकते हैं All right so the central government's advisory was as per the health minister of the country that pray at home sit at home no need to go to temples what's happening in maharashtra is contrary to that but it's not that temples haven't opened up temples have opened up let's take you through the chronology of where across in the country temples have opened its doors to devotees akshardham in the national capital is one such temple which is now open devotees can visit akshardham The Kashi Vishwanath Temple in Varanasi is open post the lockdown. So is the Vaishnu Devi Temple in Jammu and Kashmir. Goraknath Temple at Gorakhpur is also open. It's opened its doors to pilgrims to devotees. So has Dakshineshwar Kali Temple of Kolkata. The Kamakya Temple in Assam is also open. While let's go all the way to Kerala, Tiruvananthapuram, the Padmanabha Swami Temple is also open. Meanwhile, Tirupati Balaji Temple at Tirumala is also open to devotees. While in Ujjain, the Mahakaleshwar Temple is also open. So temples have opened up. It's not that you know temples aren't open, but the state of Maharashtra also records, and one must pay heed the highest toll. of positive cases even the death toll is highest of covid in the state of maharashtra all right with that i'm going to quickly cut across to our other top focus story that we are tracking very closely and that comes in from karnataka bengaluru what happened in early august in bengaluru right now the crime branch proving the riots case has named former congress bangalore mayor sampath raj now the congress leader has been named in the preliminary charge sheet by the Central Crime Branch Sampath Raj was earlier summoned by for questioning but he did not appear citing health reasons the crime branch has also attached Sampath Raj's medical records in the preliminary 800 page charge sheet earlier in august Sampath Raj was questioned and his pa was arrested while in clashes had broken out on august 11th following an alleged derogatory post on facebook by a relative of congress mla akhanda shrinivasa murthy the mob had vandalized several vehicles burned down several houses including one of an MLA two police stations as well see this is entire a political on the pressure of the government of karnataka and the bjp leaders they have unnecessary as i could say i have to see the records they have named him in no way my leaders or congress party is connected to it it is at the time of the election on the last day last numbers they have filed they are no way connected the congress party is no way connected to this it is the failure of the government failure of the police the police has been uh, uh, under the pressure i think they have named our leaders we will fight it out legally we will fight it out politically this shows that the congress engineers communal rights in the country they have engineered communal rights in uh, Bangalore. They have engineered communal riots in Delhi. They have engineered communal riots in Uttar Pradesh. They have tried to divide the people in the caste the community and all other regions. These are few examples now. The Bangalore uh, Karnataka police has registered cases against uh, the Bangalore uh, Congress leaders, Karnataka Congress leaders, that show that Congress engineers communal riots in the country. Pressure. Can we fabricate uh, evidence? can it withstand the law this kind of that's what i am telling the people in helm of affairs making this kind of statement what kind of message can we convey to the people today it is not we are making allegation it is only just because the person who has been charged sheeted belongs to congress party the affected person also belongs to congress party political rivalry among them might be there that i can't make an statement only investigation can only prove only time can tell who are abiding law who have violated law who have misused who have taken law into the hand 
All right, after the CBI took over investigations in what had happened in Hathras, it's day two of CBI investigations. Well, today, the CBI visited the crime scene of alleged gang rape and murder that took place on the 13th of September. It also visited the place where the body of the girl was burnt in the dead of night against the will of the family by UP police. The CBI team had earlier obtained crucial documents, including the case diary from Hathras police. The CBI team is likely to camp in Hathras till the probe is on. The CBI registered an FIR against the accused on Sunday and took over investigations into alleged gang rape and murder of the Dalit girl. Let's listen in right now to the chief medical officer. किस अस्पताल में ले जाएंगे इलाज के लिए हम जिला चिकित्सालय में हम लोग वहाँ पूरा चेक कर पाएंगे कुछ जैसे ये कई लोग विशेषज्ञ होते हैं तो होते हैं और जैसे स्थिति होगी जैसे इलाज हम लोग कर पाएंगे करेंगे कुछ और अधिक की आवश्यकता होगी तो हम उस हिसाब से मैनेज करेंगे All right, shifting focus to the national capital. It's that time of the year where the air quality in the national capital begins to dip. We've had, at least Delhi, has had a clear stretch because of COVID where we've had uh, better air quality than we've had off late. But with incessant stubble burning in neighboring states like Punjab and Haryana, the AQI, air quality index in Delhi, has fallen and will fall further is what we are getting in Meanwhile, the Delhi Chief Minister, Arvind Kejriwal, is all set to launch a biodegradable process to deal with unwanted stubble, which farmers otherwise burn in the open. Now, this new technology will be launched at a village near Narela, and the government plans its distribution to other villages around Delhi as well. The Delhi government's graded response action plan will come into effect from Thursday. A number of steps have hopefully, as the government says, been taken to prevent the AQI in the national capital to fall. यहाँ पे आने के बाद कुछ दिनों के अंदर ही एटमॉस्फेयर बिल्कुल चेंज है और हमें चाहिए कि मशीनरीज का यूज़ कम करें बाकी है कि इससे ब्रीथिंग प्रॉब्लम बढ़ रही है और कोरोना टाइम चल रहा है तो और कह रहे हैं कि वो लंग्स पे इफेक्ट ज़्यादा करे तो हमें लंग्स मजबूत करने हैं पर पॉल्यूशन कम करने के लिए तो गवर्नमेंट का स्टेप उठाना ही चाहिए देखो पॉल्यूशन तो बढ़ रहा है और ये तो सभी को पता है कि पॉल्यूशन बढ़ रहा है और अभी जब पराली जलने वाली होगी तो और ज़्यादा भी पॉल्यूशन बढ़ेगा तो गवर्नमेंट को कुछ ना कुछ इसके ऊपर स्टेप लेने पड़ेंगे All right, well, this is a story uh, which is it's rather sad if you look at it because an advertisement has been pulled off because of intolerance by a certain set on the contents of this advertisement. This was an advertisement by Tanishk, which basically went on to suggest interfaith marriages and how it's a family is inclusive. On the other hand, a whole set of people, especially on social media, called it propagating love jihad. Tanishk, since then, has taken down this ad. This advertisement celebrating religious harmony has angered the right wing on internet platform. The backlash on social media was so intense that jewellery brand Tanishq buckled and pulled off its advertisement. What upset the hardliners is the theme. The video features a Muslim family observing Hindu rituals for their daughter-in-law, who is from the Hindu community. Tanishq, in its description, said the advertisement depicted the coming together of two religions and cultures. But social media did not quite agree. Hundreds of netizens launched a relentless attack on the brand, calling it Love Jihad. Soon, hashtags calling for apology and boycott of Tanishq started trending. Politicians like Shashi Tharoor and Abhishek Manu Singhvi backed the ad and urged Tanishq to stand up to the bully. The advertisement, which is on the new jewellery line of Tanishq, Ekatwam, however, stands withdrawn. 
पर बिटिया को खुश रखने की रस्म तो हर घर में होती है ना एक जो हुए हम तो क्या ना कर जाएंगे All right, the US President Donald Trump has hit the campaign trail with less than 2 weeks of testing positive of COVID-19. He held his first rally, mind you, without a mask in Florida where thousands gathered to greet the president. The White House yesterday issued a statement saying Trump had tested negative on consecutive days. The president and rival Joe Biden are scrambling to secure votes within 3 weeks until the 3rd November elections. Major news organizations have now become increasingly cautious of sending journalists to travel with Trump to White House events as his team is not really adhering to protocol as per many media houses. Welcome back. Uh, let's quickly check some facts. That there's a video floating about which seems to suggest that armed men were harassing the Hathras victims' kin. Listen in to this particular video that was making the rounds on social media and WhatsApp groups. ये कोई न्याय है, ये योगी सरकार है, बाहु बेटियों को कोई इज्जत नहीं। ये देखिए सर, ये देखिए, ये देखिए घर के अंदर घुस के, ये देखिए घर के अंदर घुस के। ये देखिए घर के अंदर घुस के ये योगी सरकार है ये योगी सरकार है ये योगी सरकार है ये देखिए साहब हमारे घर का कमरा है की सरकार ये देखिए दरवाजे से ये घर के अंदर तक घुस के गए हमारे ये देखिए पूरा प्रशासन पूरा प्रशासन आके हमारे ऊपर घर में घुस के और बहु बेटियों के साथ ऑल राइट सो दैट वीडियो दैट यू सो is not from hathras the fact check on that video is that this video is false you might have seen it on whatsapp groups you might have seen it on social media platforms false this video is not from hathras with that it's a quick break stay with me on the other side is to the point we're back shortly